of the Right House Speedway on this nice bank holiday Monday. Welcome to the Sky TV cameras. And of course, all our friends who are down here in their yet red and yellow shirts from Birmingham. Nice to see you here. We're going to quickly introduce the riders to you before the transmission takes place. And let's first of all start by introducing a very, very tough looking Birmingham side this evening. Leading with our number one rider, Steve Johnston for Australia. And his partner, the blonde headed Aaron Summers. Came down from Edinburgh this year. Then the one American inside, welcome to Chrissy Kerr. Another young Australian, all Australians, this lot, all uh, from down under. And one who is really going to look for tonight, Richard Sweetman. Then, of course, it's their long standing captain. One of the best riders in this division. Always a pleasure to see him here. Jason Lyon. And the two reserves tonight are Justin Sessman and a new boy I know nothing about him, Jake Anderson. I'm sure they're going to do very well to the promise tonight. Let's speak now. The Silver Steam Rockets, number one, of course, as usual, our captain, Chris Neath. And his partner, the North Star, Stephen Eckberg. And number three, Jordan Frampton. That was a must for applause, was it? Number four, of course, <laughs> the flyer himself, Luke Bowen. And fresh from his maximum at the last home meeting, Linus Sundstrom. And our two reserves, Kurt Shields and Kyle Mills. Okay, we've got the two captains who will toss for position. Jason, will you call, please? He's called Heads, and Heads it is. And you picked. Burger won the toss, and I picked one and three for the first race. There's the lucky two pound coin. Now, we've got a special little ceremony tonight and the boys are going to go back uh, to deal with that while I hand you over to our announcer, Craig. Over to you, Craig. OK, we'll bring the boys back over to the uh, pit skate area, just uh, ahead of that to let you know what's happening. I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, are aware as the riders head back to take their stations uh, over at the pit skate area on the first night. I'm sure many, if not all of you, are already aware of the uh, very sad loss this last week of uh, two of the sport's biggest and uh, most populist characters, Paul Fry, and uh, now, of course, also the Jellyman, uh, Kelly Moran. Paul Fry, of course, a man of many tracks, a former overseas finalist, and uh, also a world long and grass track star as well. And Kelly Moran, who's passed away this last 24 hours ago or so. The Jellyman, again, a man of many tracks, including, of course, Birmingham, uh, a three times world finalist. He finished fourth on each of those occasions, and he's widely regarded as one of, if not the greatest all round uh, natural talents on a bike. So, to salute the memories of both those gentlemen, we'd ask you all to be upstanding for a minute's silence in respect of Paul Fry and Kelly Moran. Team managers, John, you don't get away that easily here. Uh, we're going to grab Graham Drury and uh, John Sanford of the uh, Rummies as well. And uh, a few words with both these gentlemen ahead of what is going to be a crunch Premier League fixture here. But first, uh, Graham, talking to you, you of course rode with uh, Kelly Moran up at Hull for some three seasons. I know you've got an awful lot of very positive, very exciting memories of what was a tremendous character, Kelly Moran. Yeah, I mean, uh, ability wise, uh, I rode with some of the world's greats in uh, Iron Major, Barry Briggs, Egon Muller. Uh, they were world champions. Kelly Moran was never a world champion, but he had as much ability as any of them riders. Uh, that's a very sad loss. Very much so. Let, let's talk about the positive things here. A very potent uh, Birmingham team uh, arriving in town this evening. We can talk about last year's uh, win here that broke that Rockets uh, record, but it's a different looking side tonight. The Speedway star, for what it's worth, says you guys are going to finish top of the pile, and uh, even ignoring that, you certainly have high ambitions this year. 
Yes, I mean, I would like to think we've assembled a you know, really, really good team this, uh, for this season. Um, the, the, the lead time won't be won or won't be lost and won't match in front of the sky this evening. Um, but I would like to think if we keep away from injuries um, at the end of the season, I'm you know, quite sure we'll be there or thereabouts. The picture in the Speedway Star last week, six uh, Aussies, one American. That wasn't the way you intended it, but it's the way it worked out. No, just the way that it worked out, uh, the riders that were available uh, under the budget that I had seemed to be uh, six Australians and uh, one American. Um, and if they can do the job for the fans of Birmingham, I don't care what nationality. That's, no, that's pissy, yeah. They pulled back, they pulled back, they didn't have a tight one. Yeah, and that's the way it's going on. Thank you. 